Hello everyone. Welcome to session 66 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I am going to explain about static testing, dynamic testing, and their differences. So let's get started. So what exactly is static testing? And what exactly is dynamic testing? Let me explain. In simple terms, static testing is nothing but the testing performed without executing the code. Here in case of static testing, you are performing testing without running or executing the code. Whereas dynamic testing will perform testing by executing the code. So what does it mean by without executing the code? Here real application will not be there for testing guys, but here a real application will be available. Okay, application will be running and available for testing. For example, I open one website, web application like this. If I am performing testing here, okay, if I am performing testing on this application here by doing all this stuff, okay. So it's working, right? This application is running, guys. This application is running. That means there is some code getting executed at the backside of this application. This falls into which kind of testing is static or dynamic? It falls into dynamic testing. Okay, this is known as dynamic testing, guys, where you are executing the code for performing the testing. Right? That is testing on a real application like this. The built, uh, the complete application, if you are testing, right, that is nothing but a dynamic testing. Whereas in static testing, you will not have such kind of application running, guys. Okay? No code is executed there. That is nothing but static testing. So here, static testing falls under. Okay? Static testing is nothing but a technique of verification testing, guys. It's a technique of verification testing. In the last session, in the last session I explained what is verification testing, right? Static testing falls under the verification testing, whereas dynamic testing falls under which uh, testing, guys? It's a technique of, okay, dynamic testing is a technique of validation testing. In the last session I explained about both verification testing and validation testing, where now the static testing is falling under uh, as a technique of verification testing, whereas dynamic testing is falling under the technique of validation testing. Fine, here no real application. Here no code will be running. So no real application will be there for testing. Instead, what you will be testing in static testing guys, without executing the code, what can you, uh, like, uh, what, what can you perform testing then? With, if there is no application, how can you perform testing here? Here, under static testing, we have something like static techniques guys, okay? So here under static testing, we'll be using this static techniques for performing the static testing. So what are the different static techniques we have here? Let me show you. So here we have something known as static analysis. We have something known as static analysis. And we have something like reviews guys. We have something like reviews also. We'll be performing static analysis and reviews under the static techniques. So what you will review here? Here, what you will review guys? Here you will review the documents like BRS documents, test cases, test plan, design documents, all the documents you can review guys, okay? Here in case of static techniques, under reviews, we'll be reviewing all the documents and, uh, and even code also guys, we'll not run the code. Here code is not run or executed, but rather you will just read the code, okay? You will check the code, whether it is following some standards or not, whether syntax is proper or not, whether structure is good or not, whether the best practices are followed or not in the code, such a level, but without running the code, you will check the code guys, okay? And also here you are not performing up testing on a real application in case of static testing, right? Because without executing the code, the application cannot run. So here you will be only checking this reviews, okay? You'll performing the reviews by checking the documents and code without running them. And uh, we, we'll also do static analysis, guys. Uh, I'll explain more about what is static analysis, what is reviews and all those stuff in the upcoming session. For now, just understand what is static testing. Without executing the code, if you are performing testing, that is called a static testing, fine? So it falls under the 
technique of verification testing and uh, there is no real application uh, for testing here and uh, the static testing uh, techniques that are followed for performing static testing are categorized into static analysis and reviews under reviews we have further other things okay under reviews we have other things guys so one thing is like under reviews we have something like uh, what we call code reviews we have walkthroughs lot of stuff is there guys walkthroughs we have inspections reviews can be further classified into this reviews can be further classified into code reviews walkthroughs inspections technical reviews and pair programming this are all reviews guys okay you are not running the code in any of these things these are all these all techniques are part of the reviews so how can we perform static testing we use uh, static techniques for performing the static testing okay we use static techniques for performing the static testing and these static techniques can be categorized into static analysis and uh, reviews under reviews we have code reviews walkthroughs inspection technical reviews and pair programming fine so coming to the dynamic testing the difference between the static and dynamic testing is that here we are not executing the code but in dynamic testing we are executing the code and this type of testing will be performed on some real applications okay and uh, also here this particular category of testing that is dynamic testing is falling into the validation testing category technique okay technique of validation testing is it's falling into so what are the different types of testing that you perform generally in dynamic testing guys so a few examples let me give guys uh, you you can perform unit testing okay developers generally perform unit testing where where they will take a block of code small unit of code and uh, they will run it uh, with the okay here you are executing the code guys in unit testing that's why it falls into dynamic testing right they will run the small piece of code by passing some inputs and testing whether that individual unit is working fine or not later they will perform developers will perform integration testing also where they will combine the individual units into together okay two or three individual units they will club together and perform testing as a whole units whole number of units that got integrated that is part of integration testing this is also done by the developers then tester stem comes where they will perform system testing right system testing is testing on this whole application okay we are testing on the completed application that is system testing where you can see the ui and all the stuff right that is system testing then after system testing we have user acceptance testing uat generally this uat is done by customers and there are uh, different varieties of uats and all i will explain all these things guys okay i will explain unit testing integration testing system testing and uat in detail in the upcoming sessions okay this is just a, a topic for static testing and dynamic testing guys okay where i want to explain that static testing is performed without executing the code uh, dynamic testing is nothing but a testing which is performed by executing the code and uh, this is a high level overview of what is static testing and what is dynamic testing so we'll cover all the other topics that are not covered in this uh, okay that are mentioned but not covered in this particular topic in the upcoming session guys okay this and uh, in the previous session i already covered verification and validation so in the upcoming sessions i will be covering all these terms like what is static analysis what is code review what is work through what is inspection what is technical review what is pair programming okay what are reviews what is unit testing what is integration testing what is system testing what is uat testing all these uncovered things will be covered in the upcoming sessions guys so hope guys you understood this session what is static testing and dynamic testing and what is their difference so that's it guys thank you bye